everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video. I hope you're doing fantastic this afternoon. Maybe you are preparing for the system. Let's get straight into the updates regarding Tammy because it is now a hurricane. So if you actually saw earlier, I linked a video posted to my second channel, Weather Extras, in the community post section of this current channel, Weather Girl Danny, and I actually covered the latest info. But as promised in that video, I'll be going into more details for you guys regarding the hurricane. So as we know, there are those watches and warnings in effect, and we're going to be taking a look at the system throughout this update. We'll also briefly talk about another disturbance in the Southwest Caribbean. That one might try to get itself together and develop, so let's head straight into it. So first things first, we're looking at the satellite imagery. There are those uh, areas of loss of showers, thunderstorms, those clusters out there. Uh, those are propagating westward, so let's see if they'll try to develop. Models have been hinting at seeing an active end to the month of October. We'll see if that comes to fruition. And earlier this week, the Climate Prediction Center highlighted the entire Caribbean for potential development. Not a high chance, but just saying that, hey, somewhere in the Caribbean, we could see some development headed to the latter part of October. So we'll definitely have to watch for that for next week and also into the following week and also early November. But uh, here we are taking a look at the satellites again. There is Tammy just knocking on the door of the Lesser Antilles right now. Now those impacts are going to worsen. Conditions have already started deteriorating for some areas. It will only continue to get worse. Those tropical storm or hurricane conditions will be uh, unfolding for sections of these islands. Now as we look into the uh, other areas across the Caribbean, going to the Southwest Caribbean, we're seeing this cluster of disorganized showers and thunderstorms. That is in association with an area of low pressure. So that could try to develop, but there is only a low chance. Matter of fact, let's quickly head on to what the National Hurricane Center has. This is as of the 2 p.m. update. So we can see here that there is a low 20% chance of formation through the next seven days. And the main reason uh, I'm thinking that this won't really become anything much is because of its proximity to land, because it is going to be loitering around before eventually drifting off into Central America. And once it does so, once it interacts with land, that chance of seeing any further development over in the Atlantic Basin is going to decrease down to zero but some models have been showing that once it moves over in the pacific it might try to become something we'll have to wait and see for that but again we're seeing that cluster there there's that front some activity still in parts of the northwest caribbean affecting uh, sections of yucatan headed to the bay islands of honduras and honduras itself especially earlier this week there was a lot of activity a lot of flooding rains across different areas and uh, going up to the cayman islands we see some activity nearby even extended into some parts of cuba and into the bahamas Bahamas. Much not happening for the uh, the Turks and Caicos Islands as of when I'm actually recording. Uh, even across Jamaica, we're definitely seeing some thunderstorms popping up. Across some spots in Hispaniola, Haiti, the Dominican Republic, some thunderstorms developing, but much not happening for the entire island on a whole. Similar story as we head on over into Puerto Rico and the vicinity of the Virgin Islands. There has been some rainfall activity for some persons. For others, it has been a pretty hot and dry day. As we head down to the ABC Islands, again, pretty clear take a look at the surrounding areas and we're not seeing much so some drier conditions in and around the vicinity of the abc islands limiting any chances of any substantial rainfall down in northern south america colombia especially headed to venezuela we see a lot of activity even across parts of northern guyana and as all this moisture feeds into tammy uh we're gonna see some increase in rainfall activity across some areas some intermittent showers they might be heavy at times so uh, talking about portions of Venezuela, Trinidad, Tobago, uh, Grenada, the Grenadines, and maybe up into St. Vincent as well. And even right now, I've seen the comments from you guys about the rainfall activities. So there could even be some periods of heavy rain. And as we know it, those periods of heavy rainfall can induce flooding. So please keep that in mind when you're going out and please stay safe and do not take any unnecessary risks. And now go into the Lesser Antilles where we've got our new hurricane. So Tammy is right here and uh, it has a lot of activity in association with it and will be strengthening a bit as we head into the rest of today and even into tomorrow as well. So at that time, the National Hurricane Center is expecting that peak winds could be around 80, 85 miles per hour. Gusts could be even higher. So I will talk about the watches or the warnings for the various areas and then talk about 
what conditions should be expected. So we're starting off with the hurricane warning. So that is in red, and that is in effect for Guadeloupe, Antigua and Barbuda, Montserrat, and St. Kitts and Nevis. And so guys, in the process of editing that video, there has been an update statement from the National Hurricane Center and a hurricane warning is now in effect as well for St. Martin as well as St. Barthelemy and Anguilla. So that means hurricane conditions are expected within the next 24 hours. So as we're going to be heading into tomorrow especially, we're really going to be seeing those uh, hurricane conditions kicking up across these different areas, those strong winds, the storm surge, and uh, even that heavy heavy rainfall as well and in those more mountainous areas there could be those landslides mudslides so uh, that is going to be a major concern but we know that the flooding that's the real big issue here with these tropical cyclones that affect land so uh, that is what is in store for again Guadalupe, Antigua and Barbuda, Montserrat, St. Kitts and Nevis hurricane warning. Next in pink is a hurricane watch so hurricane watch in effect for Dominica so the difference between the watch and warning in this case is that with the warning area those conditions are expected in the watch area they're possible so keep that in mind in blue is a tropical storm warning which is in effect for dominica saba and st eustatius the tropical storm conditions the heavy rainfall even some storm surge as well and those gusty winds uh maybe gusting close to hurricane intensity around 60 miles per hour or so could be possible across some of these areas but uh areas such as Guadalupe and even Antigua and Barbuda which are closer to where the center of the system is going to be passing will be experiencing the most of it out of everywhere in the Lesser Antilles those areas are likely to experience the worst of Tammy as she's going to be making her way by let's now head on to that tropical storm watch that is in yellow in effect for Barbados and Martinique with that tropical storm watch there could be tropical storm conditions not a guarantee either so for Barbados you might notice that those uh, seas are getting pretty rough out there in the Atlantic especially on the Atlantic side of the different islands it's getting pretty rough out there uh, with Tammy now becoming a hurricane the stronger it is uh, the rougher those seas are going to be as a result of those winds really making conditions uh, very unstable and unsafe out there especially with marine activities so now is the time to avoid going to the beach it's time to hunker down and prepare for the system if you have not been taking it seriously and you've been looking for a sign this is is your sign to ensure that you have preparations in place especially if you're not experiencing much right now some areas have already begun experiencing some periods of rainfall even some thunderstorms and even some gusty winds as well but things are really going to deteriorate later tonight and heading into tomorrow guys so please do not take this lightly it's better to be safe than sorry it's better you make the preparations and much does it happen than to not make any preparations and the worst happens and please don't forget get your pets we love our pets guys and so uh tammy is ahead of schedule because it was not expected to become a hurricane just yet until maybe tomorrow afternoon and here we are before with hurricane tammy so why is it intensifying well conditions are conducive let's look at this map here i actually showed it in my update on weather extras so this is a sea surface temperature anomaly map and as it gets more towards that darker shade of orange and red that is where the temperatures are above normal so in the vicinity of the hurricane temperatures are around 30 degrees celsius and uh that is really fueling it because a lot of warmth and moisture that's the food for these tropical cycles think of it as you as an athlete you can't compete if you're not strong so you need a strong breakfast with all the requirements same thing for these tropical cyclones they need that conducive environment with all they require in order to develop and intensify and even undergo rapid intensification and really I would not be surprised if Tammy is a bit stronger than what is currently expected so again guys please exercise caution it's really going to be tomorrow when these impacts set in across the islands and even going into Sunday, especially for the Northern Leeward Islands. And uh, models have been shifting all over the place at times with this, but for the most part, they're showing that very close approach as we can see here on the model guidance. Those impacts are definitely coming for the various islands so that is what i wanted to share with you in this update i really wanted to get you guys up to date with the latest from nhc with hurricane tammy and of course i'll keep you posted so stay tuned for my next update coming tomorrow if there's anything important or any major 
schedule change tonight, I'll post in the community section of my channel. So be on the lookout for that. But that is what I wanted to share in this update and I hope you found it to be quite informative. However, if you have any questions as usual, please leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you once I get the chance to do so and remember to always be weather wise.